In coin last night, you saw a first of its kind governor's debate. Oregon students from across the state, ranging in age from 12 to 19, had total control of it. And Jeff Gianola moderated that event alongside our media partner, Portland Tribune reporter Shasta Kearns Moore. Cor Harlan is live this morning with more on what the three candidates had to say. Cor? Right, this get together was here at uh, Roosevelt High School last night. As you mentioned, uh, students were in control of the questioning. And, uh, you know, despite them being uh, teenagers, they asked some pretty adult like questions that uh, included uh, responses that uh, the governor got to education funding, uh, the state's foster care system, and a lot of other issues. Uh, at many points last night, a summary of the uh, debate that uh, the governor found herself on the defensive as uh, Republican Newt Bueller, who's challenging her for the governor's office, uh, criticized. The governor's record. The governor went on to uh, answer those criticisms, uh, saying that she had increased funding for education. Uh, Bueller also took ta took the governor to task for uh, a state audit that said a lot of kids in the state's foster care system were, uh, in the audit's words, slipping through the cracks. But uh, the main focus and a big issue facing the state was education funding, where Governor Brown and his challenger Newt Bueller went at it head to head last night. Under my leadership, we've been able to increase funding for our schools, K through 12 schools, by 22 percent. Not enough. Still more work to be done. Uh, despite the, the claims from from Governor Brown, the, the facts is that uh, the unfortunate facts is that uh, even though we've increased the K through 12 budget, uh, uh, very few of those dollars are getting into the classroom. Now, what uh, Bueller means by that, uh, essentially on the campaign trail, he has been saying that the public employee's retirement system uh, is sucking a lot of that money out of local school districts. And, and despite the fact that the districts may be getting some additional funding, a lot of that money is going to pay uh, the district's public employee retirement system uh, uh, fund and pay into that fund. Uh, Bueller has said one of his first tasks, if he is elected governor, would be to reform PERS. Jenny and Ken, uh, ballots in the state state of Oregon go out in about three weeks. The uh, election results will be available, of course, election night, November the 6th. Yeah, and uh, latest polling shows that uh, this is going to be a close race. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Either so. one could win. All right. Yep. Thank you, Cor. You know